y'all and welcome back to the Pendry home or welcome if you are new here. Today we are going to be decorating for Valentine's Day. I am super excited to dive right in into some Valentine's decor very late into the season but that's okay. Uh, so without further ado let's get started. I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? There will be no Bible study in today's video because my Valentine decorate videos just seem to be like the shortest decorating video that I do here on my channel. Um, it just doesn't take me that long to decorate for Valentine's Day, but I absolutely love doing it and adding the pops of pink and red. And I even did a little bit of lavender this year as well. Um, but I still wanted to throw a Bible verse in here. And since it is the season of love and Valentine's Day, we are going to be in First Corinthians chapter number 13 verses 4 through 8 and it says charity suffereth long and is kind charity envieth not charity vaunteth not itself is not puffed up does not behave itself unseemly seeketh not her own is not easily provoked thanketh no evil rejoiceth not in iniquity but rejoiceth in the truth beareth all things believeth all things hopeth all things endureth all things charity never faileth but whether there be prophecies they shall fail whether there be tongues they shall cease whether there be knowledge it shall vanish away Can we stay would love to know if y'all have any plans for Valentine's Day. I absolutely love celebrating Valentine's Day. It's a special time that me and my husband get to celebrate our love for each other other than, you know, we should be celebrating our love for each other every single day, but Valentine's Day is special. Um, so we always get a bunch of sushi. Like that's just our thing. We get a ton of sushi and we have a, like a little at home sushi date. Um, and it's just really nice and we absolutely love doing that. And then also the weekend of Valentine's Day, our church does like a couple's night out or marriage refresher. Um, they call it different things every year and there's a catered meal that we have and we always go to that and um, we have a guest preacher come in and do like a marriage devotional um, and then we eat and um, there's always like a little like photo booth thingy and all of that. So we are going to be going to that the weekend of Valentine's Day which will be super fun. We always look forward to doing that as well. Last year we didn't get to go because we had COVID and gotten sick and so it was such a bummer because we had COVID during Valentine's Day last year. Um, so we missed out and it's always sad because I hate missing those. They're so good and it's just 
you know, a good time to really dig deep into uh, what the Lord says about your marriage and all of that, which also brings me to this point here. One of my Bible studies this year is going to be about marriage, Um, something that the Lord laid on my heart and something that I wanted to grow stronger in is what God says truly about marriage. We all know the normal things that the Lord says about marriage, but there's so much more um, in the Bible about wifely duties, husband's duties, and all of that, and how to truly structure your marriage upon the Lord. And Even while I was studying it out for y'all, you know, I was feeling a little convicted Um, and I'm already implementing those things and working on those things in our marriage. And just even in like the last few weeks of implementing those things in our marriage and what God truly wants us to do and how he has truly structured your relationship in your marriage with your spouse, how things are just so much more peaceful and like happy and it it kind of keeps you in that honeymoon phase you know when you first get married you're constantly in this honeymoon phase your husband can do no wrong to to your husband you can do no wrong but then as time passes you know and you have children or you go through hard times and and everything you kind of lose that honeymoon phase not on purpose not like you want to it's just life life gets in the way and things happen And so kind of just fully getting back into that mindset and keeping that in your marriage. So I'm excited to share that with y'all later down the road, but I just wanted to throw that out there. But what are you doing for Valentine's Day? I would love to know. I will be with you until I stop breathing. I will keep loving you as long as my heart's beating Oh, hold me close Promise you won't let go Nothing without you I don't know what I would do without you You are the one I choose I wanna grow But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed all of the Valentine's decor here, let me know down in the comments. Or if you're decorating for Valentine's Day, I would love to know as well. As always, if you have a prayer request, you can always leave that down in the comments below. Or if you have a praise report, I would love to read through that as well. But I'm so happy that you guys joined me here today. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.